Well, you see that? Those are the floors. And these are the floors here. Today I'm gonna to be installing the rest of the floors, which I learned from Ronnie. So thanks again, Ronnie. You know, there's a saying in life. One door closes, another one opens. So, I just wanna share my excitement and enthusiasm. I finished my uh, uh, Instagram uh, sponsored post series. There's a company that paid for 10 pictures. I finally, finally got the 10th one up. It's actually a beautiful picture of me standing here eating some pizza, um, <laughs> watching a movie. I cleaned up the bus for that picture, by the way. Um, so, uh, yeah, uh, I've been having more companies get a hold of me uh, to take pictures, to help them advertise, to market, help them get the word out. So, for that age-old question I always get, how do you make money on the road? Um, that is how I am making money right now. In the past, I've also had sponsorships and um, uh, web series work. Um, actually, you know what? Let me link a web series below. Uh, and <laughs> that, that video is how I ended up in a school bus. For the first time in my life, I actually had savings, substantial savings, uh, enough to, to uh, gamble. And, and, and take a risk and, and just go for something and this is what I chose to go for uh, the bus life on YouTube so anyways um, let's get started on the floor alright so just to wrap this uh, wrap this up and reiterate I cut through the floor to access the um, the hole in the tank where you put the hot fox heated fuel pickup this is gonna be a tight squeeze <laughs> um, First cut, well, I didn't measure, right? So anyways, first cut, second cut, we put it all together, no big deal, no water's coming through here, nothing to worry about. Um, I just would have preferred to uh, have a, a proper, correct cut, but you know, look, it's life. It doesn't always work out the way you think it will. Now I just gotta figure out how to get this thing back in here. There we go. Okay, there we go. Easy peasy. Um, I went to the hardware store <laughs> and instead of buying a $20 piece, I actually got a scrap piece. Um, so yeah, that'll just go under the flooring. Hopefully that doesn't uh, mess with anything. This will be, you know, uh, it's under the bench seat, so I don't know even know how important it is to uh, have it precise, perfect, because nothing, nothing's ever going to go down here, but part of me does feel like I should at least screw this down or something. This is sitting higher than it was before. Also, on the topic of, uh, you know, making money, whatever, posting things, I got another uh, offer. So if anybody doesn't already follow me on Instagram, if you are on the app, Come on over and say hi. If you see a sponsored post, don't be afraid of it. Um, you know, leave a comment or something, because, you know, that keeps me on the road, and it doesn't cost you a cent. Because uh, I'm, doing, I'm doing all the work. Anyways, let's get this floor wrapped up. All right, through the ma magic of movie making, I uh, drilled these into a little uh, nailer, stud, whatever you're gonna call it, piece of wood. Cut the foam, added wood, wood, foam in the middle, and then uh, screwed and secured. Now, I already made my cuts. I cut off the, we'll call it the uh, tongue side of it. We have the, well it's more like shiplap. The tongue that sticks out, the edge that sticks over, the tongue that sticks up again, and then I cut this <clears throat> flat. I'm not matching it to the rest of the wood, uh, just cause, I don't know, whatever. It's not that big of a deal. Uh, it's very close though. There's a seam there and seam there, so no one's ever gonna open this thing and say, "Well, I noticed your floors don't match the rest of the floors." What? That's not the point. This is for storage. <laughs> so, anyways, so yeah, I, uh, this is all ready to go. Uh, I'm gonna follow Ronnie's previous recommendation. I'm gonna do the same thing as the other video where I think it's titled 
the correct way to install a floor in an RV, van, school bus, etc. Um, we're doing silicone and uh, tapping it in like Happy Gilmore. Tap, tap, taparoo. Just tap it in. So that's what we're doing. It will not float. Uh, Ronnie, the flooring professional, been doing floors for a long time, recommends to use silicone. Are there other opinions out there on the internet? We all know the answer to that. So if you say, well, actually, well, just, just don't. There we go, guys. On this edition of Jax Learns Things, he's got the first one in. Now I'm just going to repeat for the next three rows, and then uh, do the same over here. Well, would you look at that? Looks pretty good, huh? I'm going to wait <clears throat> and do that back edge because this is a pretty tricky uh, system here. I don't have a pull device, and uh, I think I'm going to trim up that little corner right there. Uh, so yeah, pretty easy, you know? If anybody was saw the previous video and thought to themselves, oh crap, I don't know how to do that, that guy's a professional. Yes, he is. Yes, he was nice enough to show all of us how to do it, including myself. And yes, you can do it yourself, just like I can do it myself. It's always good to learn how to do it first. So, um, pretty straightforward, guys. Silicone. Don't cut the wrong side like I did too many times. Um, obviously, the tools that Ronnie was using are very, very helpful. I don't have any of those tools. I just have a mallet and uh, I'm using body weight and the weight of the floors. But uh, this is not a high traffic area. This is just for um, storage, basically. So um, if you do find yourself in a uh, position to... Uh, you know, put in something and you maybe don't have the tools and it's not over something else, it's not going to be the end of the world. All right, after a short commercial break, not for you, but for me, I had to deal with some emails. I ripped off one of <clears throat> the floor pieces here. As you can see, we kind of did it both ways. Uh, we had the small piece on the outside, had the small piece on the inside. And what we're gonna, the reason I'm taking this up is that I wasn't super clear when uh, these floors are going in. Excuse me. And this needs to overhang this piece because of the type of trim I'm gonna use. And um, so that's why I get to redo this whole thing. And um, I was mildly concerned about having the small piece on the outside. The last time I did that, it kind of buckled up. But I also didn't have lots of silicone and an interlocking. Actually, I did have an interlocking because uh, it was real wood floors. Real wood floors being the key difference here. But like I said, I'm going to take this piece up, cut an identical almost piece, bring it out three quarters of an inch so that it uh, covers this vertical piece here. And this vertical piece here is going to sit on top of the bottom piece so that there is no crevice. Um, uh, yeah, no crevice from the top. It's, it's going to be hidden like this will sit over, just like this, it'll sit over the bottom piece. Also, update on Alaska. Badge told me that the price of diesel is $6.71. I don't know if that is including the exchange rate or not, because that could go down 20% um, or so, depending on what the exchange rate is. Uh, it's $1.81 per liter. It's about four gallons per whatever. That's, what's that, 360 times two, 720. Oh, 720 minus, I don't know the exchange rate is. Say 20%, 720, so that's 14, $1.40 off that. Uh, yeah, so it's like six bucks a gallon or something. Do you want to go to Alaska? Do you want to drive in a caravan? I mentioned this before on Instagram and a lot of people said yes, but it is 2,500 miles from Portland. Uh, in a big bus like this, assume that a 60 gallon tank gets 500 miles uh, at $3 per gallon. That's $180 a tank times five. Uh, 
that is a lot of money one way. Uh, if you are in some other kind of vehicle uh, that gets better gas mileage, like a car, it's still a substantial amount. It's almost like driving across the entire United States, each direction. Uh, but if you're interested in going, uh, the plan is to leave no later than, for myself, July 1st. Um, but I don't, but I'm still working on this thing, so I'm not, I don't have a concrete date, but if anybody else is going up there in the summer and wants to link up, uh, contact me through Instagram, um, and, uh, I'll be happy to let you know, you know, or, or I should say I'll post updates on Instagram, and I'll be happy to let you know where I'm crossing, the route, I want to take it kind of slow and easy, uh, maybe 200 miles a day, uh, or 300 miles a day. And, and do some hiking, fishing, camping, etc. along the way, stopping at places of interest. Um, so yeah, please contact me over there. And I will have some exciting changes and some exciting news for this channel in several more videos once the bus is a bit more done and I grasp the idea more concretely. All right, just like magic, it's up. Just uh, used this uh, pry bar and mallet. Just went uh, gingerly. As you can see, some of the OSB will come up. Uh, I'd never use OSB again. I would use uh, MDO like I did on the first bus. MDO is the most waterproof wood that you can purchase in a plywood style. It is not marine grade. Marine grade refers to the, uh, what is it called, tensile strength or the... Uh, amount of tension it can take, like a bow of a boat, uh, bending, think bending, but waterproof, MDO. Anyways, I'm going to rip out this little piece, I might rip out that piece, and then uh, we're ready to rock and roll. Looks like I got another email. So, uh, I'm just curious, has anyone used the discount code SCHOOLY5 at uh, amsolar.com because, uh, the guy I communicate with over there, the CEO of the company, sometimes, uh, you know, we chat about things. I'm just curious about people using the discount code, whatever. It's been used 20 times. And uh, somebody just today bought the whole schoolie kit, the exact same one that I have. So I was just curious if anybody's finding it from these videos uh, and if it's helpful. Um, again, it's tax-free because it's Oregon and 5% off. Um, you know, support small businesses, things like that. But uh, I was just happy because they provided such an expensive, uh, amazing kit uh, with the highest quality components. And after today's email, 20 people using it and one entire kit itself, I thought to myself, well, I think I earned my keep here with them. So I'm just, you know, it just makes me happy, you know, because I'm recommending good stuff that I would have wanted to purchase anyways. And uh, you know, and they help me out and, and, uh, you know, it's working, you know, it's working to their benefit uh, and mine. We are the champions, my friends. I did it. I got this floor in. Uh, sweating. Whew. But boy, does it feel good to learn and do stuff like this, you know, by myself. Of course, I do prefer to have friends helping me because it's a lot more fun, trust me. It's way more fun to build one of these things with friends. Highly recommend it. Especially friends who know more than you do. But, uh, yeah. See? Teach a man to fish. Feed him for a lifetime. This is the following day. I have nothing but smiles on my face. This looks absolutely incredible. Well, the whole thing is looking incredible. Um, so, yeah, I don't know if I mentioned it before this clip, but because uh, I was so tired last night. Some wise man once said, or wise woman, I'm not really sure, uh, something about playing with power tools when you're tired. Probably not a good idea, so I decided to leave. I already got two little dings on my fingers from uh, my drill. So I am back. I'm going to finish uh, the steps. Uh, so for this video... Uh, as I hope some people are noticing, I'm trying to keep some of the jobs together, so it's easier to search for, it's easier to watch, easier to find, and soon I'll be back on the road. Um, anyways, 
I'll do the bottom pieces and then I'll do the set the top parts separately. Uh, the reason being is I don't want to step on these after I put silicone on them. And uh, the idea is for the top pieces to uh, retain the uh, I don't know we'll call it the I don't know the part that goes over and then I'll push this all the way up. It's getting stuck here. Anyways, it's gonna it's gonna fall over. These two edges are gonna meet almost. So, anyways, you get the idea. All right, moving on. I got the steps. Well, the actual stepping part. I gotta do the vertical part tomorrow. Reason being, the stuff needs time to dry, so I'll let it sit overnight, and then I'll tack that part in the morning. Once I finish that, well, then the real fun begins because we get to put together all the rest of the inside. Armrest to armrest. We're gonna put that thing up. We're gonna hide the wires. We're gonna hide this foam. And we'll put vertical pieces in between all of the windows. Uh, so yeah. That'll be the next video. And I also have a addition to the roof. Does anyone have any guesses? If you watch this video this far, do you have any guesses what I could possibly do to the roof to add a little I don't know. Fun in your life. All right, here we go. This is the uh, finished product. Uh, it took me an extra day to do this. Um, and so basically, I'll just share with you how I did this. It's pretty straightforward. It's just silicone on the bottom of this. Um, the vertical piece, uh, all right, so this, the, all the top pieces hang over enough to where the vertical piece could kind of slide under it a little bit. And what I did was I just uh, have the, we'll call this the female edge, um, go over the cut edge of that. These are two edges coming together. Uh, we will call this a male edge. Um, this is my last little piece I gotta do, but the, the part that sticks out like that, we'll call that male. So the female part was coming over and it kind of went over that. So it created an extremely small seam um, for these steps and so the piece of trim that I need to get will be very very small. That's the reason why we, we, we redid these in the first place um, was to you know because we had them cut a half inch back and uh, so we just decided to make them a little tighter and uh, that way the trim can be very very small but uh, the yeah, I made them really tight, so I actually, I hit, I had to pound this part in under this little lip, if you can see that. So, um, so yeah, it's nice and snug, and I'm going to shoot another, I'm going to start another video right now for the next video.